Now underground, you've got an amazing root for medicine. The root is a, has a yellow hue to it, which is why the more famous one is called yellow root, or uh, yellow dock, which is Rumex crispus. And um, <clears throat> Rumex is the genus, and it's in the Polygonaceae family. The, uh, the root is, wow, I just, I feel like it, you, if you get to know it, it'll be one of these medicines that you just rely on. It really purifies and detoxifies the system. If I go to like London for more than a few days, I'll start to get mouth ulcers and my skin will start to break out and, you know, I'll just be coming toxified. So as soon as I get out of there, I'll get my hands on some root and make a tea or you can make a tincture, which is an alcohol extract and uh, detoxify your system. So just, I mean, we are inundated. I don't know if you've read that. I mean, here we are at the heart of the Industrial Revolution zone here, but since the 1940s, um, the industry has added over 140,000 chemicals to the atmosphere, 140,000. Mm. Only 3% three, three of them have been tested for toxicity. So we're really being inundated with toxic chemicals and we need to be on top of that. We need to be, you know, you can't shield yourself. I mean, you can't, you know, we're breathing and we're eating and we're living, but you can keep supporting your cleansing systems. And the root of this is amazing for that. Now, <clears throat> if you're a woman or have been involved with raising children or something like that, you, you may have heard about yellow dock as something uh, that's useful. And I think a lot of that's misinformation in that they, they say, oh, the root has a lot of iron in it. I don't think it's that the root has a lot of iron in it. It helps your body to absorb iron. So if you know anybody who's anemic, if they're taking like iron supplements and stuff like that, the odds are those that iron supplement's just passing right through their body. But if you get them to start taking the root of this on a regular basis, that when they do take iron into their body, it helps to bring it into the system and be absorbed. And so often that's the problem is people, you know, wake up and start to shift their lives, but they don't go through a cleansing process in the meantime. And so as they're doing this good stuff, they have this like whole coating through their entire body of what we call mucoidal plaque. And it can be up to like that thick through your whole digestive system. So you can't even absorb nutrients anymore. And so you've got to go through a cleansing in order to really open yourself up to, to being able to absorb nutrients again. And there's a whole process to that, but uh, this can be helpful in getting by all that. Can I just ask about tolerance? Mm -hmm. um, because some of the, the kind of wild food is in, in Britain are very specific on saying, you know, yes, we could eat, say, dark, but not everyone can because of the kind of allergic reactions that some people have to different food substances. Right. Um, what's your take on that? Do you think you don't have it? That sounds like you don't, that's not too much of an issue for you. Yeah. If it's an edible plant, then... What is, uh, if you haven't been to Plants for a Future, pfaf.org, amazing resource. 77,000 um, plants are on there that they talk about. They're a little ca you know, overly cautious because they're trying to cover themselves from being sued or whatever. But it, <clears throat> they're still really broad. I think it's an evolutionary thing. If, if you are, have only been eating refined flour and sugars and, you know, things like that your whole life, <clears throat> it's going to really shock your system to try to go out and start wild foraging the next day or something. So it's an evolutionary thing, but you can, you can bring, a bond, bring upon that evolution in yourself, you know, over years of time. I always say that if, if you give a month for every year of your life that you weren't awake to your digestion and all that, then like if you were 30 by the time you realized oh my gosh I need to like pay attention to what I eat then um, then you should give yourself what almost three years to transition so I think it's a it's a it's a time thing and really sticking with it and not because and that's the problem a lot of people wake up and then they just want to like shift immediately and I think it's something that really uh, something that takes some time but we're all individuals we all need to it's a relationship, it, it, and we, we don't have a lot of time to do that today, but just to realize that this is not just some innocuous thing that's hanging out here. This is a living entity that's evolved with humans, that's been with humans forever, and so to have a relationship with it, to, to be able to, uh, in a sense, communicate with it and be able to say, hey, I need you for food, I need you for medicine, and, and what, what am I giving back to you? I'm giving back to you respect, I'm giving back to you, as, uh, recognizing you from the fold and in some ways you know helping you to live
is something that uh, is a mutualistic kind of way of relating. So I think that evolution is, is part of it. And, um, and not everything is for everybody, so you have to kind of find out what works for you.